So, what we need to do next uh, in our agenda is that uh, we need to bring this track uh, to the GCHAT. And uh, that is done by, uh, by exporting the track uh, meshes uh, to FBX or Filmbox format. So, what we need to do first is we have to clean up our mess a little bit. But uh, let's change it in, uh, save it in a little bit different name. Uh, FB X to E Z. Okay. And uh, I think it's good. Okay. First, what we need to do is clean up the mess, so uh, clean up the scene. So we have to get rid of all splines what we possibly have here. Easiest way in the 3ds Max is to uh, do by the select from scheme, uh, select from scheme function. So the quick uh, quick button is H, so it brings us to this list. Over here, we can filter what is seen over here. We can hide the, all the geometry, so all polys, and leave only the shapes or splines, what is in here, on the list. So we have a several splines over here, so we can select them all, okay, and just press delete, so they are not there anymore. Next thing what we need to do is reset X form all the objects on the on the scene. So we select all the objects. Go to utilities hammer tab. Reset X form. Reset selected. And now we have go can can go back to the modify tab and right click convert to edit poly. So now it's uh, geo and track geometry is now pretty good set in the uh, for the FBX export. So next thing what we need to do is uh, convert all our materials to standard 3ds Max materials. And let's bring back our converter. And we have a very handy button over here. Convert to standard mats. What this button does, it converts all these G-motor materials to standard materials, which is needed so, so the track can be uh, exported to XPS, uh, FBX format. So let's see what happens. Let's click it. No object selected. Huh? Let's select all our objects and convert to standard mods. It will take some time. Not long though. And now we are ready to export this to FBX, which uh, happens very easily by export and export non-native file formats from the cor current 3ds Max C. And what we wanted, Conrad, is FBX. Let's find the correct folder. Which is again here around Steam. R Factor, whatever, locations, sandbox, assets, scene, test track, F, F, B, X. Okay. And let's click save. Now it brings out the exporter rollout. 
And here's a few points what need to be taken care of. For first, we need uh, units in, uh, to convert to meters. And up, up axis set up Z. Then the FBX file format type should be binary. And uh, FBX version, whatever you have uh, installed it there. So now it should be ready for export. Let's click OK. It uh, warns some turned access. That's OK. So let's hit OK. And let's see if we have here. Sandbox assets and scene. We have now here in the test track FBX. So we can X 3ds Max. Okay, save it. And fire up GZ. Okay, now we go in file open and this is pretty much the same thing uh, as uh, in the viewer or the exporter we have a uh, defined uh, parts for example so let's define them steam steam apps common r factor motive locations that's our root path and then we have to uh, Define the paths uh, which is needed to load track files. So let's go back here. We are in a locations folder, sandbox. That's our first folder. Second is our layout folder. Third folder is our assets and anims. Fourth folder is GMT. And fifth is maps. That is all uh, what, uh, what we need. And now we are ready to open our FBX file. So let's click this folder. And we are now again in the wrong place. So let's browse ourselves to the Steam installation, Steam, Steam apps, common, artifact 2. Motem, locations, sandbox, assets, and C. And here we can find our test track FBX. And let's hit open. Now we are pretty much ready to load our track in the GJet from the FBX file. So let's hit the load and wait a little bit. Let's see if we can see anything here. Aha! This is exactly what happens. This, um, that's why it's very important to reset X form. This uh, uh, GZ do this sometimes, that it, uh, it mix up the axis. So the object, object can be in a very weird places or look otherwise in, in, in wrong place. Let's uh, not the matter about that at the moment. So what we can see here, our reroute is now yellow. That is actually okay because as you remember, we convert all materials from G motor materials to standard materials in 3ds max so we have to define materials in gz again and let's select this piece of road and let's open the material editor and let's select this material so get material from selected which is road a 
And as you can see, it uses now bump specular map T1, which is wrong shader actually. So let's take it out here in the real world shader. This is a setting up term, uh, the materials. It's uh, same thing that uh, what we done in the 3ds Max. All the settings are here. All the all the texture settings are here. And the interface is pretty much same what it's what you can find in the 3ds Max. So basically, this is how easy it it is to get a track in the GChat.